Old Meta Heli in the house. Uh, we're here uh, doing a little unboxing of, uh, not really sure about this one. Uh, showed up on my doorstep today. Uh, I guess we're going to find out what she is on deck with a silver bullet. Uh, I'm not sure what this big knot is on top here. <laughs> Let's start with that. Uh, see what, what this is. <sighs> Not sure why. Ah, oh, it's uh oh okay. This, my friends, is uh a really hard to get out <sighs> power adapter. Uh, wow, with half the tape stuck to it. <laughs> uh, American adapter, I guess. Uh, I don't know why they stuck it on top there and not inside the box. I have no idea. Huh. Anyway, uh, yeah, at least it. It's there. Okay, let's find out what this is. I know it's a quadcopter, but let's see which one it is. Alright. Ah, that's what it is. JJRC. Shuttle X1, brushless motors in the house. Well, you know what's coming up. Not just a review and a you know flight uh, video of this, but we're gonna do some punch outs uh, too. We're gonna compare this to my uh, QX200. Uh, we're gonna see. Matter of fact, we might even throw an old Tarantula in the mix. Uh, definitely not gonna throw the Wasp. 230 in the mix because that'll dust all these <laughs> it's not even a competition but anyway but you see this little thing right here and then we'll get to open it this little thing right here i can't understand why nobody has just like cut that damn thing off yet because <laughs> it's not damn gps i have no idea how come somebody hasn't cut that damn thing off yet that's the first thing i said when i seen that i was like you know what that thing's got to go uh Okay, it's a nice box actually, nice, uh, let's see, what is it, 7.4, 1300 milliamps, 15 minute flights, which probably is not, so maybe about 10 minutes though, you know, very accurate, like on any quadcopter folks, yeah. if it says 15, you can minus it by, you can minus 5 minutes, <laughs> uh, brush motors, we got the 1806-2280KVs, huh? That's actually uh, similar to a, a racing quad motor. <sighs> Go ahead and pop this guy up and see what we got here. Everybody's like, would you open a freaking box already? <laughs> All right. Make sure there's nothing in here. Nope. Go ahead and move that out the way. All right. This is a uh, this is a pretty neat looking little quad. Hmm. Ah, it comes with a lot of little stuff, too. Uh, and move that right there. Uh, got the charger. Two-cell charger with the, yep, yep, there it is. I guess that's why you need this thing, huh? But I'm not going to use this anyway, so, you know. But it's cool that they actually give this to you, you know, people that do need it. Uh, extra set of props, too, wow. And I'll tell you what, these props are actually pretty sturdy, pretty, yeah, these are pretty decent props, folks, because, uh, you know, I actually had got a Storm Racer, and, uh, it came with some really, really flimsy props. Uh, this actually feels pretty sturdy. These are good props. First of all, I want to show you the Storm Racing props that, uh, <laughs> I ended up, like, buying a whole bunch of these before I knew that they sucked. <laughs> okay, look at these. Oh my God. I mean, look at the comparison too. I don't know if you guys can see see the difference in uh, thickness, but this is like so flimsy. I mean, I mean, when you go to do a punch out, these just go whoop. <laughs> they literally go like that, you know. Whoop, whoop. Like I said, these feel pretty good. Uh, and I must say, I'm kind of impressed so far. I mean, for the price, wow, guys, wow. All right, this is your, uh, that's pretty neat. They gave you a little tool. It's, it's actually kind of neat. I kind of like that. And uh, both sides are 
you know, you know, so if you strip the one side, you got the other. That's kind of handy little tool, you know. Matter of fact, I think I might keep this, you know. You know, just have something in the field. All right. What else we got here? All right. We got prop protectors, which I do not understand why they give you those with this particular quadcopter. Because this, my friends, is not a beginner's quadcopter. <laughs> you do not want to buy this and learn how to fly. I mean, yes, from the videos I've seen, uh, I think uh, Dustin Dunhill, I believe, uh, like he, you know, he dropped this thing from 400 feet in the air and it, you know, didn't break. I couldn't believe it, but that's kind of funny. Anyway, they give you prop guards, your landing gear which a lot of people are saying it's not too swift because they tip over with these. Uh, it also has a strange arming process, which kind of increases that problem. I, I think so. Uh, what else? That's all that was in that bag and a couple screws. Yeah. All right. This is your battery. This is a uh, 7.4 2-cell. 1200 milliamps, uh, don't really say what C it is, uh, the C rating, but, uh, you know, actually, the batteries that I use in the 200QX would actually, would work in this, I'm sure, too. See, so sticks feel pretty good, you know, it's still, uh, a toy grade, you know, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a little better than your average toy grade, I guess. The blue is kind of funky. Uh, takes four double A's, which is good. That's what I like, honestly, folks. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, these don't feel like these buttons are fake. I think these are real. Uh, got all your trims. Not sure what these two are for. You know, we're gonna get into all that stuff. You know, this, you know, this is just an unboxing, folks. Just an unboxing. But I will have an upcoming flight video explaining all that goody good stuff. And this is some good stuff. You know what, man? You know, I like doing this. I enjoy doing this. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell from my videos, but I really like these things, man. You know, I enjoy myself doing this. Uh, wow. There sure is a lot of Chinese in here. Um, yeah. Alrighty. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's some English, but there sure is a lot of Chinese. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't see a parts thing in here, but it being JJRC, you know, that, you know, I mean, you know, there's parts available just for the simple fact that it is, oops, close up, folks, close up, uh, just the fact that it's a JJRC, okay, there's nothing else in this box, all right, now we're going to get to the good stuff, I know you guys are like, good God almighty, will you ever unbox that stinking freaking quadcopter? Huh. Alright, has your typical little tie-in things here. It's kind of cool how they ship this thing, actually. Uh, Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's see, the weight on this. Okay, I tell you right now, this, this is heavier than the Blade 200QX, uh, by quite a bit, actually. Uh, you know, this is quite a bit larger and quite a bit uh, heavier too I would say the motors you know look at the size of the motors folks I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, <laughs> these are tiny compared to these so we are gonna have a little uh, upcoming uh, punch-out contest between these two. Let's see what we got here the battery door it is the JST connector which is pretty uh, standard. That's pretty good. Though. I like these. These uh, actually. Actually, I prefer these over the little, the mini Losi ends. I'm not a big fan of those. Which this thing unscrewed. It's just driving me crazy. I think it'll crack the whole body too if you just pull it off. I don't know. Might have to hacksaw that jugger off. Because uh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. It's not GPS. Yeah. Back to the review. Uh, it's got the green props in the front. Orientation. Uh, what else can I say? It has a looks like a, it says can port. Uh, I guess 
there probably is going to be an upcoming camera in the future because it's it it does have the uh your pretty standard toy grade uh slots basically to slide a camera on uh you know the lights on this aren't too fantastic as you can see there's just these little tiny little lights right here little bitty guys uh this being brushless, you know, it doesn't have to be broken like your brush quads. You know, you always got to, you know, put them on a table and sit there and, you know, just spin them real slow for whatever, about five minutes just to break in your motors. Well, this is brushless. Don't have to worry about that. All right, folks, we're back real quick. I just want to show you guys something that I did since unboxing this last night. Uh, actually, this battery came up uh, 4.0 per cell. Uh, it's actually kind of pretty high. Uh, got a little battery tester here that I use. Uh, you know, it was pretty high, which is a little bit too high for storage. You know, just sitting around. You want it about 3.8. But anyway, I just want to mention that. Uh, I went ahead and I cut off that fake uh, GPS antenna thing that they had on top of here. Yeah, I just went ahead and uh, got rid of that. You know, uh, I thought it was kind of, kind of stupid. You know, it's not GPS quad. So what I did was I just ended up cutting it off, hacksawing it off. And uh, <laughs> what I did was I have this uh, carbon fiber. It's uh, like a vinyl wrap. It's just basically a sticker, a big old sticker. It comes in a big roll. I bought this at uh, Pet Boys. You know, sells this. So I'm sure you could find it other places, probably for cheaper. It's just a sticker basically, but it's uh, carbon fiber. Uh, and what I did was I cut two little pieces out, you know, I, uh, covered up the JGRC, and I covered this up here where I cut that off. And I happened to have a couple stickers laying around, and I seen an X. There was an X in one of the stickers, and there was a 1 in one of the other stickers, so I thought that kind of looked pretty cool. You know, since it's the JJRC X1, <laughs> thought that was pretty neat. Uh, carbon fiber kind of looks pretty cool just trimmed it out and just stuck it in there uh, oh uh, I did the landing gear modification what I used was these actually go on the feet of like a GPS platform uh, quadcopters actually these are like uh, landing similar to what's on the Terra uh, 650 these they uh, I use those instead of the little things that come on the sticks I, don't know, I thought they looked cool or they got a little yellow in there you know they come in a long thing they're about this long I just you know trimmed them down and made uh you know four of these you know trimmed them down glued them on uh um I use uh something called shugu which is an all-around good uh glue you know it's not permanent but it sure is strong it's very similar to uh hot glue except uh there's no gun involved and all that stuff it just comes in a, it's called shugu it's good stuff. It dries, but it also dries, uh, you know, it's like super glue, but it doesn't get hard and brittle. It's flexible, and it is removable. It's not permanent, but, you know, like I said, very, very strong stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, and this. Something I noticed about this quadcopter from watching uh, a couple of videos is when this thing hits LVC, those lights blink for about four seconds and this thing falls out of the sky so you do not want to fly this to LVC so what I did was I'll show you what I did all right I cut a little hole in the battery door so this wire here will come out I'll actually show you guys what you do is you have that sticking out through the hole okay and then what I did was I put a piece of Velcro back here and a piece of Velcro on the back of here. These are just a little, uh, these are battery testers, actually. They sell these, uh, you can get these anywhere, probably Hobby King. Uh, you can get these at uh, Banggood or Gearbest. I'm sure they have them as well. Uh, they are just basically, it's a tester to see how much power is in your battery. You plug the negative, the black wire, if you guys can see that on the end here plug it in and 
it'll tell you how much power you have in your battery but there's a little button here little button right there if you if you hold this button in it, and then you hit it again see it says three six then you hit again it says three seven three eight you can set it to how high you want to set it so I like to set it on 3.7 would be perfect okay so that means when this battery drops down to 3.7 this alarm will beep it'll go beep 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 you know loud too I mean it's a very loud beeping noise <laughs> so you will definitely hear the beeping coming out of this thing and it will tell you to land before the LVC kicks in and this thing falls out of the sky so this is a very important thing to have for this quadcopter folks and what I do is I put a piece of velcro on on the back of it and I put a piece of velcro on the back door you see that so what you do is you just you plug this in and you stick this on right back here and now as you're flying it you can bring it back towards yourself and you can see how much power you have in your battery <laughs> and if you're flying off you know and you're not paying attention to this and it starts beeping you know it's time to bring it back home and land it because this will warn you before the LVC does I believe the LVC it goes off at such a low point that the battery is probably 3.0 per cell so at that point four seconds later it's falling out of the sky this will save you from that just want to show you my neat little modifications and tricks that I did to this thing so far and we will have an upcoming flight video for you real soon and uh hope you like the video peace out